All right, this is Shovo and Ras TV. Okay, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification bell on so each time I upload a video like this, you'll get it right there on your phone. So, we're just going to talk about real quick living life abundance, right? Which means we want to live a life, a prosperous life without being suffering, without being depending on paycheck to paycheck, all right? So, every day you will get up, you heard. You hear people say, thank God for life. Thank God I made it to live to see a next day. You know, because there's so much killing going on. So each time that you made it to see a next day, we got to say, thank God we live to make it to see a next day. Is this how we're supposed to be living? To just be thanking God and give thanks to see a next day? That's not how we should be living. We should be living life and live it abundantly. Which means we should be enjoying life to the fullest. We should be doing the, the, the things that we wanted to do. Not the things that we were forced to do. We are living life right now forcefully. We cannot enjoy our life anymore. Because we're not seeing the big picture. They set us against each other and we keep on killing each other. And I tell you a lot of time, we keep on carrying out a massacre on our own self, on our brothers and our sister. I always say this. When we needed guns for the revolution to fight against our true enemy, we cannot get none. No matter what we do, there is no guns. Now that we're using it to kill each other, now everywhere you look, there is guns. Why is it like that? You know, it doesn't happen by coincidence. These are the stuff that was systematically programmed to destroy us. All right? We not should be live we we shouldn't be living our life say, "Wow, today is Monday. I can't wait to see Friday so I can stop work, so I could get a break from work." Right? We shouldn't be living like that. All right? We are us as Africans, we provide for everyone on this earth, right? No matter how rich you see this country is, they're getting their supply from Africa, from our, from where we're from, all right? So we need to understand that. They, they're not giving any respect for nothing that they take from us, right? Because they're trying to keep us here and brainwash us and make it seem like Africa is nothing. When from the United States of America, from the English, the French, the German, the Chinese, name them. How they get wealthy, the Spanish, how they get wealthy, the Italian, how they get wealthy, the American, how they get wealthy. How they be how they become this first class country that they're claiming to be the Canadian. They get all their resource from our Africa. Right? They get all those resources from us. And they use us on top of that to be successful in everything that they're doing. And we get up every day willingly, willingly work under their system that they plan for us. Do everything that they plan for us. And now we cannot live up to our full potential. We are suffering. We are struggling. We get up every day hoping this, hoping that. Every day we say, okay, I wish this, I wish that, I wish I could win the lottery, I wish I could win the Powerball, I wish I could. We just keep on wishing. Why are we living like this? This is not living up to your full potential, right? We have to get it together. We have to unite. We have to organize. We have to support each other business, right? We have to create for each other. If we keep on killing each other, I tell you, no matter how wicked and how bad we think we are, these are something that was already planned against us. All right? These people systematically using our own energy against us. Right? So no matter how you think you're bad and how you think you're wicked and how much people you kill, you're not killing the right people. You're just killing your brothers and your sisters. And you're making their job way more easier. Is that what we're really here for? 
and then we're worrying about how we are suffering, how we can live the um we can live to our full potential. Why are we not helping each other? Why we just want one individual to be rich and then everyone run to him to to ask him for something? Why we cannot be a, a individual group, why we cannot be an independent group that survive off each other, right? We have to do better than this. If every day we get up and we hoping and we wishing and we're not uniting and we're not organizing and we're not loving each other and we're not getting things together with each other, we're not going to get there. We're not going to live up to our full potential. We're not going to be successful in life. We're not going to be what we were meant to be, all right? We have to get things together. We have to unite. We have to organize. It is the hardest thing for our black people to do, is to love each other. It's the hardest thing to do. But you don't see the European fighting against each other in that way. You don't see they, you don't see that everywhere they act, it doesn't matter what language they speak. Can't you see that they unite? Can't you see that they organize? You never see these people looking down on each other. No matter if they don't know each other, they they uplift each other. They they could be speaking twenty different languages. They could never they probably need sometimes need they need someone to translate their language. They still get along. Right? Once it's business, once it's money, they get along. We can't get along because we make language separate us, right? I can't trust that man dog cause he 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 speak he speak Creole. I, I can't trust this man, man, cause he 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 speak patwa. I can't trust this man. He's Jamaican. I can't sp I can't trust this American. I can't trust this English. Where we get this from? We all are African as black people. Why can't we just look at it in that way? Right? When are we gonna unite to get things together? Are we just gonna get up every day and just kill each other, fight each other? And then we can't live up to our full potential. Think about it. This was Shovel and Rest TV, okay? If you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, go on YouTube. If you're not on it already, Shovel and Rest TV. Shove, um, subscribe. Turn your post notification bell on. So each time I upload a video like this, you'll get it right there on your phone. And I'll see you in the next video.